Hi creative minds, welcome once again to my channel. This is me, Gold Signature Channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be making this beautiful piece we are seeing on this screen. So stay back as I carry us along on how I made this piece. Okay, right here on the table are the materials I'll be using for the work. I use the dull face material, a dull face satin material. And then crinoline, a net. I don't know what to call this net too, but I bought it. It's been long I bought it, so I decided to use it for this work. And um, I used, I cut out a wadding for this work like the wadding i'll be fixing inside it but i ended up using crinoline this is the wadding but i ended up using crinoline for it because i noticed that it was too hard for me to manipulate it to get the desired um shape i wanted so the measurements are 27 inches sorry 23 inches length 23 inches length okay by six inches width i cut it out into four pieces and also the net also the net i cut 23 inches for the net by six inches also into two pieces so i have a um, um, the smaller net i used for the loop the smaller net I used for the loop, I have 9 inches length by 6 inches width. hope we are following. So, um, for the cap, for the cap I have 27 inches, 27 inches, 27 inches for the head circumference and, and then 21 inches for the length. So this is for the crinoline. So you know I said I, I let her replace this wadding with crinoline. So for the crinoline we'll be measuring out 22 inches length by our normal 3 inches crinoline. So this is 15 inches into 2 for the band because we'll be making a V-shaped band. And then this is our material I've, I've taken to the machine i've seen i've sewn it down so i'll turn it and get back to us so we'll be having handle we'll also be having handle for this work so this is the handle i measured out five inches for the width and nine inches for the length so I folded it in, folded it, I folded, I folded in about a, an inch and I see and I, I'll turn it. So these are the two pieces I cut out for our band. Remember it is 15 inches length by six, by five inches width. You can decide to make it longer than this. You can make 16, 17 depending. So it's better to have enough than not having enough for your work. So I've pinned it down to hold it in place. You can decide to leave it like that and then sew depending on how good you can sew. So this is uh, the, the cap itself. The 21 inches length by 27 inches width. So I'll be forming a pleat. I'll be forming a pleat just like our auto gele. So you see, I fold, you sew it, and then again fold, covering the, the, the sewn part. Like when you fold, make sure you don't, you don't, uh, like you wouldn't want the sewn part to be seen. That's it. So you cover the sewn part 
with the next plate. So you make it three plates. So this is it now on the machine. Sorry, I never knew um I turned the the phone the phone was not videoing in a landscape uh, mode. So but I know you can understand what I'm doing. So this is it now. I placed the pleated part on the headband. So I'm going to sew it. I'm just showing you how to show it so it you get so this is it I sew it down on the first plate and I made sure it covered it so we have this after attaching the band to the base so now we'll be attaching our handle the sewn part will be facing up. Remember, the sewn part will be facing up. So you attach it to the cap. So please remember to subscribe to this my channel, oh, please, oh, so that I'll be bringing us good, 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 good tutorials on how to make headwears. Please subscribe or oh, drop a comment on the comment section or oh, share. Please. Okay, this is it after attaching it. So I'll be closing it and I'll be coming in by one inch and I'll be coming down by two inches. I folded it by one inches and I'll be coming down by two inches. I hope I'm clear. So now I'll be sewing it just to close that end. By that two inch, I'm closing it down before I start sewing it to cover the plate. Sorry, to cover the cap. So after sewing it down now, I'll be pleating it. I'll be gathering it. After gathering it, I will sew on it to secure the gather. And afterwards, this is our cap. So go ahead. So we move over to the design that will be placing on top of our cap. So these are the um, the pieces we cut out initially. So I've sewn it and I've inserted the crinoline inside it. Remember I told you I did not use um, wadding again because it was too strong. Okay. So I used crinoline for this. So I sewed the net also and inserted the satin material inside the net. It's very easy to put it. So I inserted it inside it, the three pieces of net, nine inches and the other two pieces of um, material. So to manipulate our work now, what I will do now is to place it together like this. And then instead that you sew it down with your needle and thread or you take to the machine and sew it down. You'll be, sewing, you'll be folding it through the wrong part. So then, this is the pieces after sewing it down. So, I'll be joining it together with my needle and my thread. Like I did to the other one on the table. But if you can manipulate it without joining it, you can leave it like this. I'm just trying to put it in place so that it will not move. Like it will not shift from its position. So that it will be as I want it to be so this is it after tacking it down so I'll be joining the both of them together so I'm at this junction I would like to plead with us once again to please and subscribe to this channel and then press on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video 
please share the video also like the video and then if you have a comment you drop on the comment section and i would also like to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers thank you very much without you i will not be making this video i am so grateful thank you very much and may god bless you so we move ahead to it i'm done securing the both of them together and this is it so we're almost coming to the end of this tutorial so look at the beautiful bow now see it now the bow is even boring hey it's boring so this is it it's beautiful so we now get this material for the for just to cover up the, where we sew okay so i measured that four inches and i sew it and then turned it and now it's two inches so what you do again is to um, place it on it. The length, um, I think, is 15 to 13 inches. I think 15 to 13 inches. But you, you can alter the measurement. You can take 9, 10. What I, wanted, what I did was I just used the remaining material I have to do it. So after sewing it, I now cut off the excess. And, and I'm now turning it. Remember, you... You will place it facing the wrong side. So after turning it, I have this. Okay. This boy is beautiful. So here now is the 9 inches, we'll be using it for the loop, the 9 inches, so I'll insert it inside it, I'll insert it inside it, it's either you close the loop, like you seal the loop, loop together and then insert it before um, placing this, um, the other material, the 2 inches on it, what do I call it, is it the loop again? Or you do it just follow the this one I'm doing. Then you sew it down. Facing the wrong side. Always face your work on the wrong side while to sewing it down. So that after that you turn to the right side. So cut off the excess and then you turn and place it how it should be. So this is me turning it to the right side. Hmm. Wow. This can be used for um in a fascinator. You can use it for fascinator. You can just get um get your Alice band attached attach it to the Alice band or on a fascinator base. Okay. So let me attach it to our cap and get back to us. Wow, this is beautiful. It's breathtaking. Oh, it's beautiful, right? This is the end of the tutorial. I embellish it with um, this. I don't know the name. Of, so you can embellish your own too. I attached with my candle gum and also used needle and thread to tack it down. Until I come your way again, this is me saying... Bye.